پونشون ما نمی ایتواند جو سوی جوی جو مگوا جو سوی ل پویت انگلتر from uh, London Chelsea London je uh, suis dans le uh, bar du commerce or um, Lux bar Vertiac Dordogne France uh, le bar est très bon uh, recommend I je suis recommend whatever that is in French anyway and Luke is a nice chap I'm about to recite my latest poem done in the early uh, hours of the morning a very light-hearted look at uh, how things are as the winter morning set in here in France it's called flying bugs we don't seem to have the same problem with flying bugs in Britain because over here some of them are really big and ugly a bit like me anyway, flying bugs black is black it may well be a colour but it is difficult to, to describe though I can say with surety that the morning sky is full of winter and it is black strange that I cannot see a single star the moon nowhere to be seen suggesting there is cloud coverage presumably low but who knows knowledge of the universe far from my expertise unless the clock has gone haywire it is definitely morning though the sun seems far from rising long nights and short days from now on not exactly my favorite time of year but small mercies i'm so glad to be still alive as of yet there is no wind though there is a twinge of a nip in the air enough to make me don my socks before venturing from my pit Nothing compares to stubbing a toe when the feet are freezing with cold. The night light over the veranda has been left on inadvertently. My fault entirely. As I'm the only one here. As per, it is attracting all manner of flying bugs, causing me to cringe and my skin to shiver. To make matters worse, yesterday's rosé session saw me leave the door open as well. Mad! The bugs are running riot in my home. Crickets, dragonflies, moths, midges, mozzies, all kinds of subcoctic beasties. And I know fly spray is an unfair answer to the problem, but my visitors never leave when asked and it is time for them to go the bells are ringing in the distance they always ring at this time it's 706 and they are always without fail six minutes late you could set your clock by them if you had a mind yesterday's news is blaring away i left the telly on too and the volume is too loud if it's annoying me, I dread to think what the neighbours feel about it, though I presume they are too polite to complain. They must be British. Still, things could be worse. I could be at home in Chelsea living on the flight path of Heathrow's low-flying planes. Clouds aren't the only things to hang low. I was sitting in a pub off the King's Road listening to some pretentious oaf prattling on, or worse still, having my head shut on by a pesky pigeon. I'm a lucky boy, really, here in my little bolt hole, miles away from the troubles of home, with only the bugs to cause me annoyance, and oh, 
the expats. I wonder if there's anything sold in a tin that I can use on them. I keep promising to learn more French so I can be more in touch with the natives. But I always let myself down. Same old lame excuses that nature treats me kinder than my own, which simply isn't good enough. Next year, I say, my excuses never bought, so never sold. Last night passed without me spotting a star in the sky, my lips passing not a single word, though my mind spoke millions, the constant rattle keeping my sleep deprived, seeing my sleep deprived. And that's why I'm tired and grumpy, because all I did last night was whittle as I searched for a star whilst gazing at the blackened sky. So many distractions and I'm in the pub on my own. But that's the way I like it. It's just if I could get that fly. It's the same bar fly and he's been here ever since I came here. Same one, day after day. I swear he's French or he's from Chelsea. More than likely from Chelsea. Anyway, I keep telling him I'm going to have him. He's here every day annoying me. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going crazy. Anyway, Melia is suffering. Flying bugs. You can tell I like him, can't you? <laughs> Joey John McGuire.